Last time on Printed Props Workshop, our hero had to overcome issues with the chest plate, which required a full repaint. Things looked bleak, but he had to try to fix it. And now let's check in and see where he's at. Company! Attention! You won't find a finer or more loyal trooper anywhere. Rex is a smart man. Indeed. I don't like it. Always thinking on his feet. Hello again, everyone. And welcome back to Printed Props Workshop. Today, we're going to cover part three of the Rex armor stand build. We're nearly there, nearly at the very end. Today, we're going to focus on the back plate and get that pretty much completed. And basically get everything ready for what would be the final assembly stage and the preparation for the weathering which is going to be coming up in next week's video and the weathering itself is a fun, is a fun little part and I had to learn a lot of new skills for that. So today we're not going to waffle on for a long while. We're going to hit the one time lapse that we have today and then we're going to get into it. So I will touch base with you guys at the end again when we go over the final showcase. After a little bit of work, it looks pretty bloody good. So I'm very happy with that. I think that the customer will be as well. That's a nice crisp run. Now, I did have a, a bit of bleed because my tape wasn't that great. So I figured I would share a little trick that I have, that I do when I'm doing these things. And that is this. It's kind of a twofold trick. So first of all, if you just grab a paintbrush and try and paint in the sections, you're going to get brush strokes and it's going to look kind of trashy. Now, what you can do is if you get a piece of paper towel, you spray the paint onto wax paper like I have here, and I'll explain, explain the brushes in a second. You can dab the paper towel in the paint on the wax paper and then you can just kind of wipe it with the edge of the paper towel onto the paint and it adheres without any brush strokes, which is really, 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 really good. Now that lets you cover any large areas of which I had a couple of kind of very misted bleed areas that I had to deal with. But then coming in now to finish it off, you have to use brushes. There's no two ways about it. If you've got a little bit of bleed going on, unless you're going to repaint the entire thing, you're not going to be able to get anywhere with it. You're going to have to use a brush. Now, in this case, what I'm doing is just very, very, very lightly brushing over the area that had the bleed. And just, it covers it but no brush strokes. Because it's a very thin, very light layer that just covers any residual paint. This is gonna fall. It's trying to fall. We're not going to let it fall. There we go. It just covers the area quite nicely. And you don't get brush strokes. So at this point, this is now nice and clean. And I can do a final clear coat on this and move on to the final piece which is the back plate so i identified a bit of a problem with this piece while i was working on it and it started shelling so basically the outer shell of the pla started peeling away from the inside now i have a feeling it's because 
it didn't realistically have enough supports on the bottom, so it was a little loose anyway. So what I've done, I've gone ahead and I've just done a quick paint of water washable resin on the whole piece and literally have it right there in my solo cup with, um, with a chip brush. And all I've done is painted every single edge where I had the shelling, but then also on the inside where it was badly shelled as well. Because this is as I've been sanding, as you can see, I've sanded some of the inside of it. As I've been sanding, the interior shell has been peeling away. So it's kind of left me with a really messy section. You're not gonna see the inside anyway, but I didn't trust it in terms of not breaking. So, I've done the resin coat now, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to very, very, very quickly grab some water and just wipe over this to get the excess off. And then I'm going to get into sanding again to get this moving. I'm stuck in my garage because we've had about 10 or 11 inches of snow. And um, right now i haven't got around to snow blowing yet which is on my list for doing next which will be fun so i'm gonna sand this and then i'll get back to you guys i've sanded this down now so all of the shelling issues are now fixed up you can probably see that the resin's got into the shelling real nicely and taken care of that so now i'm gonna hit it with a primer coat and we'll see if we're good to go with that once that's on so here we stand after a second round of resin and a second round of um, primer. We're basically all set at this point. I just need to hit it with another coat of primer just to make sure it's all good. And then we will very much be getting ready to paint this thing. Not today, because with the, with the amount of snow blowing around everywhere, it's kind of ridiculous. But just to give everyone an example, we had about a foot of snow. So this is why it took me about an hour and a half this morning, just to take care of the snow. We're pretty much onto the home stretch now. This has just had its third coat of white. And overall, it's looking pretty good now. The um, the resin painting definitely fixed the shelling issue that it was having, which was what I needed. So I was able to basically use this piece rather than having to completely reprint it, which is a great little trick. And I will go over some tips and tricks in a different video if people are interested. All right, so there we go. We have every single piece finished ready for weathering which was a huge step for me to have this armor stand basically ready to go um aside from a couple of small pieces that were very difficult for me to source for some reason the plastic pipe in the correct diameter was absolutely impossible to source um out here which made no sense to me whatsoever but all in all the whole project went really well yes it took eight weeks it took eight weeks because of the fact that weather was really so tough at times to deal with you know like you would we would have days where we would have 40 mile an hour winds we would have a foot of snow then the next day we would have an ice storm or the day after that we would have more winds and it just kept piling up and up and up and it made it very very difficult at times to be able to get outside to actually work so the days that i did have the ability to work that's when you would see me outside doing it so overall i felt that even with the time constraints that i had it went very well you know, it could have taken a lot longer. It could have been a lot worse. I was very worried about the back plate. I genuinely thought that I was going to have to replace and reprint the back plate. But the resin painting worked really well. Now, if people want a 
full tutorial on the resin painting and how it works and things like that, I'm more than willing to do that. Because it's a great little trick that I learned from someone at one of my Mando groups. And it really made a huge difference in the ability for me to make really clean prints without having to sand, 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 sand and fill and sand and fill and sand and fill and sand and fill. And, sand and, fill. and overall changed the whole game of how I handled large pieces. I'll just give a quick demonstration with my Mando helmet so you can see what I'm talking about. So I haven't really shown it on camera before, but this is my Mercs. This is my Mercs custom helmet. So this was printed on my well, at the time, any cubic Chiron. It wasn't even my Voron printer at that time. It was still a stock Chiron. And I'll hold it closer so you, so the camera can see. But you can see how smooth it is. And this was done primarily using resin. I printed it at a 0.3 layer height with a 0.6 nozzle. And then resin painted the whole thing. And then sanded it. And overall, it came out really, really good. And yes, for the sake of this, I feel like I am going to have to end the, um, I am going to have to end the video with it on my head. Because, why not? So. Thank you for watching, everyone. Until next time, may the force be with you. And I did just break the creep by taking the